Welcome back everybody to Local 101 Players Game Dev Tycoon. In the last episode, we got 11 out of 10 for our title here, a game, a horror game, where I forgot to add a title to it. <laughs> that was silly of us. I was going to call it Cell Dweller, because that just sounds like a proper horror game. And then we released a sequel to My Good Sir Called My Dear Sir, an adventure RPG instead of in a casual game because w casual games don't work apparently don't work on the PC ah, I can tell you right now they do work on the PC but apparently they don't fashion adventure RPG good combination level design seems not very important for this type of game topic audience match fashion everyone okay Right, I need to wait for their boost to recharge, so I'm going to train everyone up. A little more training. Train you in speed. Train you with programming. Right, you're not ready for sound quite yet, so we're putting you on a game design course. You're almost there. You're almost there. Want you to be faster. Want you to be faster. Want you to be faster. We're all getting faster. Got two games out at once. No more. Generally, over 300 million in sales. Bloody hell. That was me 11 out of 10 game. Let's have a look. Game history. 10.25 out of 10 average that's insane I thought it'd be a perfect 10 I didn't expect 11 I just didn't right that after the cry engine again I'm gonna give it away now because I can't Twenty thousand fans, and it only cost us three grand. Right. Guess I'll research hardware, just because I can. Right. I'm gonna do a bit more research. Orchestral soundtrack. Eh. It's just research everything. Don't need it, but. Might as well get it all researched. That we can build the most advanced game engine ever. I haven't got a name for it, like, but we can build it. Keep going. Just keep going. Bing, 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 bing. Right, we're developing a new large game. Yeah. Dungeon. Adventure. Yeah, adventure action. For the PC, not any more platforms, just the PC. Liquid Crystal Engine. Uh, insert title here again need to remember to change that and it's going to be 3d graphics v5 big graphics we're not boosting anyone for this and we do want to bit more engine. Johnny, you're going to get a little busier this time. Right. And have advanced cutscenes and immersive storytelling. In fact, let's get rid of that. No, I don't want. 
advanced cutscenes. I can't get my old choices in there. I could do simple cutscenes and... No, I couldn't. Just advanced cutscenes then. Right, we want it to be a multiplayer game. Can't squeeze the physics in, unfortunately. We'll have... Squeeze that. Yes, we can squeeze all that in. Right. Got to think of a name this time. And add the name. <clears throat> Beneath our feet. Could be it. Right. We need some AI for this one. Not a lot, but some. We can't simply forget about it this time. Dialogues, we want some voice acting. So a voiceover. Simple body language. A little less level design. Still want some level design though. Drop, drop, drop. And dynamic environments, yes. Easter eggs, yes. Can't get away with adding extra. Raw, no. It's gonna have to be that. Dialogues. We're not boasting, we're not boasting, we're not boasting. Let's have a large booth, just for fun. Just for giggles and stuff. I need a good dungeon store. Dungeon in him. Right. Big opportunities ahead of if ahead of us. If we create our own hardware lab and have the appropriate technology specialists to run it, we could create our very own gaming console. Don't want one. It'll not be cheap. And we don't want one. No, I don't want a hardware lab. It's pointless. Right. More world design. Do need sound for this one. Stereo sound. Night and day cycle. Can't have a dynamic world. Can't have realistic. Why would you need realistic weather in a dungeon? That'll do it. That'll do it. Right, world design. I need to think of. You shouldn't have pressed, but you're not pressing boost for this lurker. Pillock. Right, we need a good name for this game. I can't think of one. 1.9 mil. Nearly 2 million people now. Of course we're number one. Loved by the fans. Loved. I want over a thousand in technology. PS4 coming off the market in two months time. That was a short console cycle. Just seeing. I need a, re a really good title. I can't think of one though. I just can't. That's it. Put the tech points in. Put the tech points in. That's more like it. I want over a thousand in tech. I'm not getting over a thousand. PS4 no longer supported. Is that two months already? Bloody hell. Right, we're finishing it. Three D graphics V five have leveled up. Right. Underground. Underground overground wombling free. Womble slaughter. <laughs> I'm calling it that.
A game where you travel underground and slaughter wombles. Release. It will be loved. It's an orkier game. Generate game report and train people up. Speed. 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 Sound. Speed. The speed. Half a million for Womble Slaughter already. Right, one convention. Not doing that. Not doing that. People love to slaughter the Wombles. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I'd love to do it. We're not building a hardware lab. We're not making our own console. We're a PC developer. Good combination of action adventure. Adventure action, sorry, in the dungeon. Engine not that important. So less engine next time, Lurker. Right, he's our sound guy now. And you I pay for Yeah, let's do a large detective game. Again. It's going to be an adventure. It's going to be the for the PC, Liquid Crystal Engine, large game for everyone. Look on the third. No engine. So let gets rid of, get rid of the multiplayer. Fact. Self some. We need Is it really a moral choice type of game? Immersive storytelling, obviously, advanced cutscenes. Can't get away with reactive quests. I have an FMVs in there. Can't get the skill trace in there. <clears throat> nah, we can't. Nah, we definitely can't. Character progression. Right, that will do it. Walk here. And the all want holidays now. <laughs> Kits. You get. Let's just whack this game out as fast as we can. It needs to be a good game as well. We can't have your sluggish, so just keep going at it, please. Drop the AI. Level design, not really important. Yeah, that'll be okay. Dialogues. Want normal voiceovers. Uh, advanced body language. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Put the work in then. We we'll want a proper loop on the third game. One where you're tasked to actually figure out all the conspiracies yourself. One that's not going to really hold your hand. Drop the graphics a little bit. Drop the sound quite a bit. Right. Don't want a virtual economy. We want... Yeah, really. Realistic weather. That should be okay for us now. 
like rich, properly rich backstory. Night and day cycle, realistic weather, open world. Let's get to it. Let's make this game happen. Did it did fifty four million for one will slaughter did it did it Right when we've finished the main structure of the game I'll release the patch There we are Develop a patch Stick everyone on vacation now That way they can come back fresh fix all the bugs I'm not worried about losing hype. No! Don't want a hardware lab. Just don't. There's no point. Right, fix all the bugs. We'll train you up. And then we'll start work on a new AAA game. Local 101 Gaming has recently released a much needed patch for Womble Slaughter. One fat said... I love companies like the local 101 gaming that don't just milk their customers for money but also understand our concerns and make sure that we can enjoy our games. Damn right we do. Damn it! Strong audience is maturing. I think, I think I did this for everyone. Get rid of that! Get rid of it! Large booth. I've got a piddle about, wait for that to go away. Let's train everybody up while we wait for their strong audience to go away. We're probably going to lose a lot of hype, but it's still going to be a great game. Train everyone in graphics for no reason other than it's the first thing I clicked on. It's going to be a great game as well, you can see it. The Mbox One will be taken off the market in two months' time. Come on, get rid of the strong audience. Get rid of it. How many can we squeeze in this time? Can we hit the two million mark? So close. So very almost close. Let's close that. All that hype around the game now, and we're going to lose it all. Release. Release the game, see what happens. Sitting here, patiently waiting. It's an eight, an eight, a nine. It's a good loop on the third game. That's what we wanted. Generate a game support. Let's make it all a touch faster. Keep going. Faster, faster, faster. Faster, faster. Get you all ready to release a triple A game. And that's with a strong audience. If it weren't for the strong audience, I think that could have been a 10. Or a 9. Proper 9. Keep going. <sighs> now you just do that. Gets. Keep going then. Another memorable game by Loco101 Gaming has been released. A truly imaginative game world makes Loop on the Third a joy to discover. You will spend hours travelling through this world. Simply one of the best games I've played. Andrew McNara from Game Informant. I don't want a hardware lab. Bugger off, John. Right. Five million in sales. 2.1 million fans. That's incredible. Right. F focus the entire team on the development of the game. What you mean instead of just send them on a holiday every so often. Right at the end of the game. Oh, wait, finish up, John. Instead of bugging us about a hardware lab that I don't want or need. Another triple A sequel coming up. And it's going to be...
Hang on. I learned when the third was an adventure game. We're not... I want an RPG. What? Uh, new game, fantasy RPG. RPG for the PC. On the Liquid Crystal Engine. Triple A game, mature. Let's risk it. I don't really want another triple A game called Ad Title here. I've got to make sure I change the name. I've got to make sure I'm not as stupid as I was before. Right, let's start. This has got to be 3D Graphics V5. I need to think of a good name for it. Right. Pretty much okay about it is. Uh, it should be okay, really. It should. Reactive quests. Uh, simple cutscenes. Drop that a bit. Right, gameplay. Can I have skill trees? Yes, I can. Um, mod support as well. Whoa, Jerry's going to be busy. A lot busy. That's what boosts for, Lurker. That's what it's for. Right, engine. Johnny's the sound guy, not an engine guy now. Well, he does it all, really. Gameplay. Get on with it, Martha. I don't know what this game's gonna be about, don't know what it's called. It's just gonna be a proper fantasy RPG. And we need story and quests now. Boost! Boost all the way through it. This is your Glonger from Game Nova. I got word that a local one on one gamer is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Yeah, why not? Muller Nude! Thank you for your time. Uh, let's do a large campaign for this one. Get the people excited about it. Oh, story and quest. Yes, I boosted them. Thank you. I thought I'd forgotten there. Keep going. 1300 for the first section. You waited all that time, Wendy, just to add one more bug. You idiot. You pillock. Right, we're not bothered about the AI. Not in this game. No loading screens and mini games. Uh, yeah, we'll have normal voiceovers. Realistic body language. And a dialogue tree. That's all we need. That's all we want. Jerry's overworked, but it doesn't matter. Right, first of all, we need to boost Sarah. And then get ready for Scott Rowe. Dialogues are pouring in. The proper wordsmith. Do some work on the booklet as well. Make sure you don't forget the booklet. No! Git! I still can't think of a title. I really need a title as well. I need a good title for this game. I need to think of one. Eh... Hey. Look for inspiration as normal. Look around. Stop sitting there just. Let's spend a bit of time to add a bug. It'll be okay. It's just one nitty bitty bug. 3D support. Uh, what can we get away with? Surround sound. Virtual dynamic world. And virtual economy. We can fit it all in. And that looks okay to me. Right, world design is you. Deal Loco 101. We, the Worldwide Game Develops Developers Guild, would like to invite you to a special award ceremony at our main meeting at the end of the game year. Please come, hint. The end of the game. The game will end at the end of this year. Right. So we need to release this 
And then that's it, done. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Quickly. Graphics. Let's get into the graphics there. So we need a title. This is going to be our last game. From the looks of things. And sound guy. We need to fix all the bugs very quickly. All the bugs need to be out the way. Large booth. Large booth. Oh, I need a title. I desperately need a title for this. Get the bugs out quick. Get rid of all those bugs. The end of the year is coming. Right. Two million people turning up at the convention. No, we're not doing the hardware lab, Johnny. Bugger off. Get the bugs out, get the bugs out, get the bugs out, get the bugs out. We're running out of time here. Desperately running out of time. That's it. I've got a title. An RPG where you fight, kill off the deities. God, bringer of death. Three D graphics, V six, right. You're all going on vacation. Come on, be the best game you've ever made. Copy. The best game you've ever made is an 11. But it's a big, big game now. Vacation. Vacation. We're getting close to the end. Uh, it's research, physio support. Just piddle away with time. One million in sales, platinum. We're getting close to the end here. In an, in an exclusive interview a while ago, Lurker 101 from Lurker 101 Gaming made very bold remarks about their then in development game, God Bringer of Death, predicting it would be uber successful. Now that the game is out on the market, the consensus is Lurker 101 was spot on as the game has received very positive reviews. Overall, it had a positive effect on sales. Great. Right. Generate a game report. Research all the things. Five million. When I started playing God Bringer of Death, I had no idea what I was in for. The progression in this story is just perfect. When you just start to think... Things settle down, something surprising will happen. A stellar effort by Loco, 1 1 Gaming. Roland Kane from Smash. Right. So there's nothing left to research, nothing. So is that. Huh. The boys in the lab have to do the 3D graphics now. It's that advanced. Right, let's get. 10 million. Let's just train everybody and wait for the end of the year. It's a waste of time working on a new game if the game's going to end. Making lots of money though. Let's train you up again. Keep going, keep going. train you up let's just keep the training going basically piddling about wait until the end of the year that's a bit strange engine not important well, we kind of knew that already Jonathan will you shut it up please we don't need that we just don't Let's train you all up in product management. 
make this a lot faster. I can't even see what year it is because my little display for the recorder is in the top right hand corner over the time graph. So that's why I'm just holding on. Uh, train you up as well. Just keep going, basically. We're still making money. We're still getting research points, kind of. The Worldwide Game Developers Guild has awarded Loco 101, CEO of Loco 101 Gaming, the Lifetime Achievement Award for contributions to the game industry. Loco 101 has, during a stunning 42-year career, Loco 101 Gaming delivered many groundbreaking games. The company is most recently known for God, Bringer of Death. Congratulations, you have finished Game Dev Tycoon. We will now calculate your final score and show you some st statistics. You may continue playing after that. Least profitable, Demolition Man. Most used topic, time travel and werewolf. Most used genre, adventure. All 51 topics have been researched. Total research completed, 71. Design points, 300,000. Tech points, 177,000. Small games, 26. Medium games, 21. Large games, 14. Triple A games, 2. Good games, 20. Top hits, 21. Publishers used, 4, and we used them. Self-published games, 59. Bestseller, God Bringer of Death, with 19.3 million units. Fans, 2.4 million. Cash, 867.7 million. Custom consoles, none. We are not a console developer. We finished the game. That has been a... This is a great game. If you've never tried it before, I decided to try it. I want to know what the hype was all about. It's a great game. It's wor well worth playing. I intend on doing a second run. A console-only run. We've done a PC-only run. I intend on doing a console-only run. Obviously, at the beginning, you've got to go up with a J64 first. And then move on to consoles. I might be adding mods for that one as well. I'll say what mods are available for this game. But yeah, it's well worth a play. I've enjoyed it a lot. But this has been Loco 101. Playing Game Dev Tycoon. Thank you all very, very much for watching. And we're going to see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.